welcome. That is Lumion 2.0 presentation. Today we're going to show you the differences between Lumion 1.0 and 2.0, or run through all the new features. As you can see here, this is the new start screen, where you can see a number of new empty scenes and a number of new example scenes. I'll now load one of these scenes, for example the sunset scene. And here you can immediately see our new sky, evening sky. And you can see that there's a big difference here in controlling the sun height, because now you can go to night. And in the night you now also have a moon. We now support Autodesk products and Revit import, which a lot of users will be happy to, uh, to hear. Our biggest focus with Lumion 2.0 has been to provide indoor lighting, but of course in a different way than non-real-time renders, because we want to keep everything in real time. In the example scenes you can see a number of examples that use our indoor lighting, and I'll now load one of these scenes, a simple bathroom. It's just a simple box where we placed a few lights. By default Lumion will not show the shadows of these lights and that is to keep everything running really fast. To move a light you, you can press shift while moving to move in the same X, Z space. Here you can see we move in the light. Of course, sometimes it's still important to know how the shadows will be cast. So we build in a feature that if you press F8, you will see the shadows. As you can see here. For smaller scenes, you could keep it on. But if your scene becomes quite large, or if you're building a whole city, then you probably only want to switch it on for a short preview and continue editing by switching it off again. Our lights now also have an option menu. If you go to the Edit Properties function and then click on one of the lights, you can see its properties. Here you can change things like the color or the angle of the light. Doing so, you can change the whole mood of the room, as you can see. One other feature that we have is night sky. Here I'm loading the simple scene which is an empty scene with only a night sky. You can see that there now is a moon and we support some stars. Every scene can of course become a night scene. So you can always switch it back to daylight. We also included a number of indoor models to support all the new indoor scenes that are being built. Here you can see the indoor library. Some really nice models inside. From books, televisions, apples, sinks, seating. There are a lot of different seating models in here. And one nice thing that they also have is they make use of the mapping. These models also have an option menu. And you can immediately see that we have a new selection system. That if you move your mouse over the model, then it outlines the selection of the model, which is easier to pick a model in an, among a big group of models. In this window, you can change the color of your model. But to support the indoor lighting, we had to change 
how our material system works. We added materials that support fabric-like shading, We also included 150, around 150 new materials, which you can find in the different tabs. So I'll now change the floor of this model into a new material, for example this one. So I'm now going to edit the materials of this model. Currently it's made of stone and now we'll try to make it gold-like. So you could just pick the metal and we now we have a new slider called Reflection Colorize. We have a number of new nice post processors. I will add one on top of this scene. So under movie plugin, you can see there are a number of new effects. One of them is called watercolor, which immediately gives a really nice effect. There are some change sliders here that will allow you to change the general feeling of this of this effect. By using the dynamic slider you can change how it will change over time. One other really nice effect is the sketch effect. Which also has a dynamic slider. One of the new outdoor effects we included is snow and rain. So I'll now load an outdoor scene. Go to the movie editor and add the snow effect. The snow effect has a setting called snow layer which will determine how much snow there is. You can also change the cloudiness. And how fast the snow will fall. One other effect is the rain effect. Where if you change the cloudiness factor to higher than 1.8 will also include thunder. Animate the boat. First let's create an ocean where we will place the boat. scene and add the advanced animation feature which will allow us which will allow us to animate in a little bit more keyframed method.
Right now there are a lot of more options. For example, you can change how much high clouds there are. And there's a new slider called far clouds. Also, there's a new slider called softness, which will change your clouds from more soft clouds to sharper clouds. One other new feature we introduced is a clip plane. So I will load the small room example and add a clip plane to this model. Clip plane is located in the light tab. Here you can see that there's a utilities tab with a clip plane. You just place it somewhere in your scene. Change its height. And by using the animation features in movie mode, you can also animate this plane. One other change is that we changed how ambient shadows work. So let me load this small example scene. For ambient shadows, there are now two different sliders. One is called ambient shadows and the other is called the view shadow. Ambient shadows are only visible where shadow is cast. But the diffuse shadow will put the ambient shadow on the whole scene. As you can see here. The most realistic ambient shadows is of course to not use diffuse shadow because ambient shadow should only exist where shadow is being cast. We also included a lot of new models and content in this release. For example, we added a few motorcycles, bicycles, caravans, and also some new bulldozers and cranes. We are also planning a lot more new characters and the first batch is also in this release. Most new models are in the indoor folder where you can find a lot of seating, benches, plumbing, Bathtubs, the faucets, and in the outdoor folder, you can now find moving flags.